BS Life. Um, today we're gonna take a look um, at Grease Pencil and uh, how we can use Armature and Grease Pencil together to create animations. Um, it's supposed to be really simple and it is actually. Um, we simply create Grease Pencil object. We're gonna have it blank at first and we simply go to draw and we start drawing. Um, for this example, I'm just gonna write a word. Just write blend. It's very simple. And yeah, this is should be good for you know like kind of kind of like a simple typography kind of animations. And you want to animate this without any 3D modeling. Um, at some point, I really want to animate a 2D grease pencil character like this. So this is going to be Grease Pencil Armature or Bones, the way Blender call it. So we're going to create armature for this, but before we do that, we can actually modify this Grease Pencil very quickly. Simply just use a Simplify modifier and you can see it gets simplified. I, I want to kind of reduce it to just the basic okay uh you can see here it's already reduced we go to edit mode oops cannot see just hit apply now if we go to edit mode you can see the the point is actually very minimal so that's really cool save save again now on top of this we just need to have an armature armature shift a create an armature so we can be with this kind of thing this kind of animation we can be really um, kind of impromptu so now we only have a single bone inside this armature we go to edit mode hit tab and we create duplicates uh, yeah we can scale it rotate it doesn't matter so we have six bones for each uh, of the character letter so go back to object mode if you like we can animate this um, later so we need to have a timeline so that's for animation timeline but we need to wait this uh, properly so select grease pencil and select the armature and control p armature deform with automatic weight so we're gonna do a little bit of weight painting so hopefully this is uh, it's gonna be fun I mean weight painting is actually it's not too bad I kind of like it sometimes so we need to select wrist pencil go to um, the wrist pencil we want to go to a uh, weight paint so Okay, we need to go to that mode. Okay, because if we actually check um, the bone itself and start animating, we can see, okay, that's slightly wrong. This one doesn't have any influence. Uh, that's because they're not on top of each other. Uh, that's why. But we can try to fix that using uh, manually using weight painting. Hopefully, so weight paint and I haven't done this much. So we, we need to find the weight for each of the bones influence. So that's actually here under vertex group. Okay, let's have a look. So you can see bone one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's the first one. They have different color. We want just a full strength of the brush and we're gonna put a weight of one depending on the bone and depending on the name. So let's just start painting. This should be red, all of them red. Don't use fall off, turn off fall off and then go to the next one. This L should be on the next bone this guy so 
sometimes when you're doing this you can listen to music because this is like just a tedious task it's nothing it's not a big deal so we are done with weight painting uh, what I do notice that if you're doing weight paint on different frame it's gonna give you a different result so be careful with that be very careful because uh, you don't want that so now we have the bones controlling our grease pencil cool all right uh, we're done with this we can actually play around with this you can start keyframing the animations um, I can use manual keyframe or maybe use animation nodes for this let's try with just random position manual animations for text is very very fun so start with something that's maybe a little bit messed up so something like that and then keep select all in post mode select all hit tap a and then i lock road state uh, scale location rotation and scale we have this now we can go 30 frames forward select all option g r s and then hit i keyframe again location rotation and scale so we have these animations it's really that's uh, that simple right nothing nothing less nothing more if you want to animate this procedurally you can do that as well let's try let's see if i'm if i remember this uh, properly we are in post mode we want to grab the armature so we're gonna use expression nodes animation nodes um, we're gonna have in our input is our armature so it's gonna be an object and let's get our object object in it's gonna be our armature plug this in and armature for armature we want to get the post bones as a list as a result we should have our post bones okay all the post bones and we want to loop over the post bones this result should be a list so we need to fix that generic list uh, and then with this guy selected tap w loop through selected now we are looping through this generic or postpone we call it postpone list and then we're gonna use another expression or just vector object transform output so for this bone we can animate locations hopefully oh okay compression fail okay that doesn't work we need to use another expression post bones get in there and location so this is a bone locations equal new position new position is gonna be a vector vector just a vector okay call it new position so that we can use random vector to offset our bones there you go so this is our animations and this is animation nodes controlling the bones it's um it's keyframe and after that you have uh, this a uh, procedural way to animate so keyframe this shouldn't animation nodes is actually trying to override what we have i wonder if we can turn it off and turn it on but this one and this is the offset result but still kind of oh actually animation nodes is overriding all our animations so at some point we we need a way to kind of zero this out Oh, okay if we zero it out it's still overriding our animations so there must be a way to do this 
Mm. We have armature info with the post phones. Maybe we can get the, the center, but that's a different thing. Oh well, if you want to animate manually and animate procedurally for now, just separate them. But there, I'm sure there's a way to do that. But this is a this is a nice example of you know just if you want to have like random position of the text and you want to randomize the seed or or maybe random wiggle the easiest one vector wiggle random seed this goes in there and we can animate this so this is always pretty fun um yeah and anytime um, you can always convert the grease pencil into real mesh and so it's yeah there you go i think it's a it's actually my i'm very curious whether grease pencil um, and armature only we can have animation like um like a 2d animation like south park or something else um i'm trying to do that um in a bit and maybe make another video um hopefully it's gonna work and i will be using my motion capture setup as well to make some kind of 2d animation puppet for now it's just this random um, text animations hopefully you find this useful um let me know what you think and yeah i'll see you next time thank you Bye.